What's up guys, it's Pam with the Wife and Son here, and welcome to part 61 of Let's Play Grand Turismo 2. So, it's been a crazy couple of weeks since I last recorded, um... Uh, the reason why is because not only was I busy, but I also developed an ear infection. And, um, well, yeah. Mostly the ear infection. The ear infection is what prevented me from recording for two weeks. So, um, yeah, and I still technically have it right now. But it's not as bad as it was two weeks ago. So, yeah. And also, of course, having to redo that endurance race. And, yeah, and stuff. But I'm finally back, so, um, yeah, let's continue on. But before we continue on, um, I'm just gonna say something right now. This game compl complete. wow. This game can be a complete dick sometimes, because... Look how many times I had to redo the Seattle Endurance Race, just to get this car. Look how many times I had to redo that Endurance Race, just to get this car. I swear this game is a dick. Oh my gosh. I had to redo this Endurance Race about eight times. Just to earn this car from that race, because the game kept being an idiot and kept giving me the same bloody car. It was so annoying. I was getting really sick of it. And uh, yeah, that's what I hate about these endurance races in this game. If you want to get both those cars, uh, prepare to redo these. Re prepare to redo these endurance races a lot because. It seems like the game never picks the other car that you don't have. It always picks the same car. It's really freaking annoying and stupid and meh. So, um, yeah, that's the reason why I hate endurance races in this game. Also, kind of like in GT3 as well. But this game is just really annoying. Anyways, uh, the other car that you went from the Seattle uh, 100 miles is uh, this car, the Ford GT90. Which I'm guessing is a rehab of the GT40. As you can see, um, it has a lot of horsepower on it, and, uh, well, yeah. It's kind of like a Sky Fi car, kind of. I said kind of twice, hooray for repeating words. But yeah, this car is kind of similar to, like, a Sky Fi car. I don't know why I would I wouldn't think that, but to me that's what it is. I, I, I mean, shut up, anyway. It's, so uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and sell all these stupid rally cars, and um, yeah, and then we'll continue on with this. So I'll be right back in just one second. Ah, uh, freaking gay gave me the same stupid car all the time. All right, well there we go. So all those rally cars, and as you can see, I am now over 10 million credits. And, uh, most of those credits were from redoing the endurance races and also selling all the, and also selling all the same cars that I already have. So, yeah. Very annoying. So, uh, I think it's safe to say I do not need a money grind anymore. So, yeah. Anyways, um, for... So, in this, uh, video, we're going to get started on our, um... Uh, last lineup and the special events. And the car I'm going to be using is... Uh, if I can find it. Uh, here it is. What is this? Mugen Integra Type R. And I'm probably going to upgrade the crap out of it. Now I've got to figure out what kind of car this is. Honda... Oh, it's a Honda. It said Honda. I think. Frick me. And uh, this thing. Okay, and it's a Honda. Uh, turbo charge. I don't think it can be turbo charge. Okay, yeah, that's my thought. Uh, well, let's first get the most easiest thing ever racing tires. Uh, yeah. 
Let's see. Yeah, and you know what? We're gonna go ahead and get this. I mean, I have a lot of prints anyway, so it doesn't really matter to me. And for this, I'm not entirely sure how fast I need to make this car, but I'm hoping to God this is gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and go with that and see what happens. And I'm not telling sure how this is gonna go. So, uh, yeah, our last lineup, which is the fourth lineup. And beginning our first series, which is the Tune and Air Car Number One Car. I learned to only nas natural aspirated cars. And like always, we have three races. Start with our first race at Autumn Marine. And in a horrible, horrible failure. Um, we need to upgrade this car a lot more. And I mean a lot more. Because I am really underpowered. And not only that, this car can turn worth a crap. So I need to get better tires as well. Because, ugh, my god, this thing does not turn. Alright, is there anything else I can do? Probably not, considering that this is only natural, natural aspirated. And the balancing me, uh, uh, that's a lot of credits. Oh, luckily I have a lot of money anyway, so I might as well do it. Alright, this better be enough. So, um, that's on ring we know. That didn't work either. Um, you know what? Screw it. We're doing this. Because I don't care anymore. This series is starting to piss me off. Oh my god, these guys are so overpowered. Ugh. So, um, that's an arm ring we go again for the third time and hopefully win! So sick of it. And this is just the first race. And if these super soft tires do not help me win, then I'll pick up a different car. These guys are just so fast, and I don't know what to do. This car might be too slow for the series. But I, I really don't know all the car to use from this race. I really know. And this car just cannot beat these guys. And now and then I keep getting dive bomb and these idiots is making it worse. Move. I'm gonna race the win. Piss off. Probably turn better than this. Well, what I wanted to do was use a car that was similar to the competition. Because I don't have like any cars that can do that well in terms of grip and also well the competition in general. And I'm struggling just trying to catch up from this idiot. Yeah, you go on Trenton, moron. Get away from me. I'd rather have it be a two-horse race than a three-horse race. Okay, you get behind me and stay behind me. No. Now we that this race is difficult. Because it really ends. Oh my god. And like I said, this is just the first race. I'm not looking forward to the other two. Especially the final one. Come on. Freaking ref, God. I 
like, then you just shot tires for a reason. You got no freaking grip. And I thought the mediums were gonna work. No. I need to go way beyond that. Okay, I led lap two, and that doesn't mean I'm gonna win. Yeah, just because I'm in the lane right now in the fight line doesn't mean I'm still gonna win. Man, this is gonna be a two-part series. Just because of how many failures this race has been. Kind of annoyed. And the last two times, I couldn't even get in the lead. Because of how freaking annoying this car... This car has crappy handling, I swear. Right away, I went down up and I finally won this race. Oh, that was annoying. I can't have no time to separate. But there's no way I went out of, But there's no way I went out of time to do the final race because of all the stupid failures. My god, why is my computer keep dying? I don't even know anyway. Oh well, at least the 50,000 crunch were worth it. Yeah, you were a lot of press on this series, by the way. Why is my computer lagging so heavily? Jeez. Holy crap. I don't know why, I've always had that problem with this computer. I don't even know. Smooth 7 Type R. I feel like I'm probably gonna... Nah. I might use this, but considering... I upgraded this car so much, the Integra, I'm not gonna use it. So yeah. Right, anyways, so, um, yeah, that was, uh, that. So, now it's time to do the second race, which is going to be at... F me. So, yeah, let's go to Grindelwald. Uh, I hate this trap. Considering that there's a couple straightaways in this trap, that makes my chance of winning even more slimmer. Because I am still underpowered. Which I think is unbelievable. Screw you and you're behind me. Thank you for, and also thank you for screwing up my momentum, you idiot. Okay, some stream immediately. I'm not gonna need that along this way. And the leader's already way up there. Good. Exactly where he doesn't need to be.
So it's something so far ahead. Let's go ahead and keep hitting the wall. Oh God, I can't. I no. Well, I don't know if I can catch him. Why do they always gotta put the fastest cars in front? Like, seriously? Why do they always gotta freaking do that? And that was horrible. Ugh. So I don't know who the biggest opponent is in the series. I can already tell it's this guy. Because, oh my god, he just keeps going away. And also, look how far ahead we are ahead of the rest of the field. That's how overpowered this guy is. And that's how much I suck as well because then I can't drive either. So yeah, this is uh, Posia right here. Probably the fastest car in the series. And of course I had that wall, which means I lost all the momentum I was gaining, which means good my Posia, and I'm probably gonna lose. Good. God, I hate this series. Oh my God, so many walls. Catch the retard, please. Right now, I don't see it happening. And I don't see it happening now. Considering how underpowered I am, still. And I can't tune this car up anymore, so... Oh my god, I hate this series. I had no idea. I didn't think I was going to take the lead. I thought I was going to lose. Well, we're not done yet. And now we are. Holy crap, how did I win that race? I thought I was going to lose. Yeah, we were four seconds ahead. That's how overpowered this coach is. And also, now that the uh, Spit Civic is also pretty overpowered. And I think there's also a uh, Spoon uh, Integra, which is also stupidly overpowered. So, uh, yeah. Alright, well, after we get this new car, I'll go ahead and end the video, considering all the failures I've had in the first race. So, yeah. So let's see what car it is, shall we? I'm gonna spawn me out of beast back. With some kind of crazy looking rims. Right. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a like and I'll scan down the comment section below. How you found this video and uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and hopefully not have as many failures as we have in this video, because Holy crap, this series is difficult. Considering the car that I'm using, anyways. But, I had to use this car because of the competition, so yeah. So, uh, yeah, this has been Family Wife, Visual, and uh, see you guys later.